You don't know me very well yet. He? You're a gentleman. Usually. I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Marsden? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through a lack of trying on their part. Had a bad run-in with some once. Some friends of mine saved me. Wolves ain't great fans of man. I don't blame them. Yeah. Neither do I. Shh, shh. There's one. I think we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. It's sort of it. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when they're clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Get the wolves from the door. Oh, futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well. I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. On you, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Marston. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Well, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, but then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Okay. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. But don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. I've got it. Year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gator's got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all Gator's gonna do with the leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. 
They're quite. It's hardly fair. The gate! It's guarded! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Closer now? Closer... So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty one feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. A little closer, please. in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. Turn us around, so, so I'm facing it, please. But, maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. I'm eating. I hope he you too. Over here, boy. Got some juicy, fat humans for you to eat. He's a bite. I hope you're slow. No, 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 no! Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. pictures you're taking yes they're gonna be any good oh, I certainly hope so 
Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> you sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. 